Thanks for joining us, everyone. The atmosphere in here is electric, as usual, and we're ready to kick things off. Unless your house is on fire, you better stay put for some great WWE action. is a battle royale. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 206 pounds, Alistair Black. Guys, you have to think that this battle royal will be one for the ages. Truer words may never have been spoken, Michael. This battle royal has all the elements of an instant classic. And let's not forget about his opposition who also comes into tonight looking to prove a point. Well, I should hope so, Cole. If you don't go into every single match looking to make a statement, then you're just wasting everybody's time. from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Well, he definitely looks fired up for this one, wouldn't you say, Corey? Yeah, he's definitely ready to get this one underway, Cole. He's not the only one. Would you listen to this crowd? Wow.
Corey, is there a more spooky entrance in all of WWE than that of Bray Wyatt? It definitely is eerie, Cole, I can tell you that. And he clearly comes into this match in tremendous physical condition. Yeah, but where is he mentally, Cole? That's the real question. I don't care about how good you look. If you don't have it upstairs, you're simply not going to succeed. now time for Luke Harper. You can literally feel the mood inside this arena change with the presence of Luke Harper. Well, he definitely looks ready for what's ahead of him here tonight, that's for sure. I agree with that, Michael. In fact, I don't remember the last time I saw him in better shape than he's in right now. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. I'd like to point out just how focused these guys look here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me think we're in for one heck of a match here tonight. Weighing in at 315 pounds, Eric Rowan. You know, I'm not so sure Eric Rowan needs that mask. The guy's scary enough without it. And even scarier are the things he can do in a ring. He's absolutely unreal. And on top of that, this match will undoubtedly have a big impact on where these guys stand in the next WWE.com power rankings. And there's been so much upward movement from new faces over the past few weeks that dropping more than 10 spots following a loss isn't necessarily out of the question.
from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, one half of the United States Tag Team Champions, Roderick Strong. Here we go, Roderick Strong making his way to the ring. And you gotta like this kid's chances here tonight, guys. And Byron, I would say these guys look more than ready to start this match. So is this crowd, Michael, and justifiably so. This one's gonna be simply amazing. And their opponent, from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 201 pounds, one half of the United States Tag Team Champions, Kyle O'Reilly. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. And Byron, I'd say he appears to be at the top of his game right now. Well, he's going to need to be if he wants to survive this match. That's for sure. Okay, let's get this match going. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. Well said, guys, and how about this Greensboro crowd? They've been on their feet all night. Eric Rowan has found an answer here. His strikes have a little extra on them tonight. And he delivers a spirited elbow. Okay, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Bray Wyatt here. As we get underway, what can the WWE Universe expect from this guy? I don't think anyone can guess what's going to come next. Bray Wyatt is WWE's new face of fear and has us guessing with every step he takes. I agree, and the crowd seems to be backing him here, so that always helps. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. Plenty of force behind that strike. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. And it's an overhand punch. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Seth Rollins knows how to polish off an opponent. He lands a jarring forearm. There's the chop. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. Not so fast. Wow, that was a stealth move if I've ever seen one. He's showing some aggression with that elbow. Taken down with a beautiful suplex. See what kind of response we'll get. He hits a huge power slam. This does not look good for Seth Rollins. Hits with the clothesline. Not even close. Jeez, that was embarrassing. Luke Carter gets out of that one. Nice move. And he goes down hard. Yeah, and I think he might have slipped a little too. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. When this guy's on, look out. Uh, 
Bray Wyatt with his back against the wall. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Clearly on a mission here. And he gets him with a counter. Well-executed clothesline. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Not sure where he got this much energy, but he's definitely feeling it. Oh, man, Alistair Black's in trouble. He has a one-man gang in there. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. Just making his presence felt there. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Ain't no stopping him now. We'll see if he can sustain the effort to do real damage. Ray Wyatt being pressed hard. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Seth Rollins in a tough spot now. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Oh, yeah, here's Luke Harper. Looks like Luke Harper has a few things on his mind. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Ray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Oh, yeah, here's Aleister Black. Ray Wyatt is going in for the kill. Eric Rowan showing some adversity right now. That's a great example of a highly efficient and highly effective strike. What placement. Just look at this man. He's all business. A dizzying drop for sure. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. Alistair Black with a nice reversal. Escapes trouble there. Gosh, the same move. Oh! Rollins fans have plenty to worry about here. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. Alistair Black with some good timing here. Alistair Black was just a step behind there, guys. Ooh, with the point of the elbow. The size of Eric Rowan. Massive splash. That's called making a statement, Cole. Alistair Black is in trouble. Just toying with the competition a little. Unleashing it for the second time now. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Oh, yeah, here's Aleister Black. Not going to win many matches with that move. Surprise him with a chop. That slam was filled with evil intentions. Ain't no stopping him now. A clubbing blow. Check out Roderick Strong's offense. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. There we go again. Eric Rowan is taking a beating, and he could be out at any moment now. I mean, it looks to me like he's almost completely out. I wouldn't be surprised if he was on the receiving end of a finisher here, guys. 
And speaking of finishers, when you still haven't won the match after executing two of them, it might be time to reassess the impact of your finisher. Let's not write him off yet. Remember, his opponent isn't necessarily whistling Dixie either. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. Wyatt kicking some serious tail here. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, he might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Alistair Black setting a good pace now. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What's Aleister Black going to do with this? This is going to be bad for Roderick Strong. That's it. The final elimination. This one's over. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. What a grueling victory here in this elimination match. Jerome Garrett, like we just saw here tonight, is among the toughest things a WWE competitor can do. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Making her way to the ring from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. And what about this crowd reaction, guys? Yeah, the WWE Universe is definitely ready to see these women square off. And I can't say that I blame them. And her opponent, from Staten Island, New York, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? What the? Go, go, go. Oh man, still not officially underway. Well, official or unofficial, we're rolling here. What a shot by Nia Jax. And guys, we're ready to get this match started. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. There's the chop. Wow, that overhand punch started down behind his feet and just kept coming. And she delivers a lightning quick strike. 
Carmella may be in a bad way here. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Guys, let's quickly discuss Nia Jax. What can our newer viewers expect from this woman? If the past is any indication of what we might see here tonight from Nia Jax, may I recommend not blinking, because this match might just be over any second now. Yeah, all I know is she can definitely make a name for herself tonight if she performs well. That strike was strategically placed on her opponent. Did you hear that? What impact! Wow, missed by a mile. Had that one well scouted. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out! That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. Stomach hurt. That has got to be it. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well placed strike on your opponent. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. This one's going to leave a mark, guys. Nia Jax might have it right here. Three, it's over. No, it's not. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. might have it right here. Three, oh, I thought that was it. I can't believe she kicked out there. Big miss right there. She wasn't even close, Michael. Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. And she's still not moving. I don't think she can recover from this, Cole. inside the ring now. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. She's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. Two. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Oh, my God. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. This isn't going to be good. Choke slam through the announce table. That's worth another look. Yeah, I want to see that again. She doesn't want to get counted out here. Well, she better get back in that ring then. Eight. Back in the ring now. One. Two. 
so strong. Fireman's carry. Slam it into the mat. Oh, so hazardous to your health, too. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. She's flirting with a count out here, guys. Come on, hurry up. Get back in there. Eight. There it is. Well done. Nine. She's struggling big time here, guys. Of course she has goals. She's getting destroyed. I can tell you, nobody's happy about it. Here is your winner, Maya Jacks. Big win, albeit via count out. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. What about you, Byron? He obviously looks good physically. But do you think he's mentally prepared for tonight's match? If he's not, we're going to find out very early on. Guys have a way of smelling intimidation and taking advantage of it. If your head's not at 100%, you're in big trouble. It's that simple. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. Well, to say he looks ready to get this match started would certainly be understating his eagerness right now. Yeah, the opening bell can't come soon enough for him, Cole. And I must say, I absolutely love seeing so much enthusiasm from him. From Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 236 pounds, Matt Hardy. 
Oh, yeah, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. And a win here would go a long way in proving he's as good as he says he is. Sounds like you're doubting him, Cole. Let me tell you something. You never want to doubt this guy. Trust me. All right, it's time to get this match going. Well said, guys, and how about this Greensboro crowd? They've been on their feet all night. Going for an encore here. Nice job by Brock Lesnar there. I wonder what Jeff Hardy could be thinking right now. For those that haven't seen much of him, what can we expect tactic-wise from him tonight? We can speculate all night, but this is really going to come down to who wants it more. Well, in the WWE, nobody cares about how close you came to greatness, just if you got there. We'll see if he has what it takes tonight. Brock Lesnar sent shockwaves through WWE like never before when he debuted on SmackDown in 2002. Lesnar became the youngest WWE champion in history when he beat The Rock at SummerSlam that year. Up and over with a suplex. Just look at this man, he's all business. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. The Beast Incarnate put the sports entertainment world on notice when he returned to WWE in 2012. And the fate of the WWE World Heavyweight title hung in the balance when Lesnar won it again in 2014. Brock Lesnar is considered one of the greatest combat sports athletes in history. Nothing will compare to WrestleMania 30 when the Beast Incarnate became the one who broke the Undertaker's undefeated streak at the Showcase of the Immortals. German after German by Brock. This might be the opportunity he needed. Matt Hardy with a nice reversal. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Dodges a bullet there. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. When Brock Lesnar appears on WWE programming, you can guarantee somebody's gonna get hurt. Seriously hurt. I don't know if there's anybody who can stop this man. That can't be enough, can it? No, I got the shoulder up at the very last moment. Yeah, it's gonna take more than that. Toss to the outside. Good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Nice job by Brock Lesnar there. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael.
I wish I could tell you guys. But, oh, and he lands it. Really relying on that tonight. Still trying. And that's the second time he used that, guys. And probably not the last. Shockwave sent down the spine. Byron, he may be down for good. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Not after the beating he's taken. F5. Oh, my. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Momentum is fully in the corner of Brock Lesnar now. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Showing very few signs. Whoa! Yeah, he sure seems to like that, Michael. Maybe a little too much. He might just be out, guys. I agree. He hasn't moved one bit. There's been a lot. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. Matt Hardy's on the attack now. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. He gets him with the overhand punch. Beautiful belly to belly by Brock Lesnar. This man can do it all inside that ring. I gotta say, when I saw this week's power rankings, I thought there was a misprint. They're doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. Gonna be tough for him to fight back from this. Well, the first thing he needs to do is get back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. There he goes, crashing to the floor. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. With an F5! Bang! That should do it. Jeff Hardy is in a real bad spot. Brock Lesnar has done it. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar! Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Making his way to the ring from Fairfield, Connecticut, weighing in at 300 pounds, the WWE Champion, Hartman. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. From where I sit, he certainly seems more focused than perhaps I've ever seen him. He's got one tall task ahead of him here, that's for sure.
from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Byron, few superstars can do what AJ Styles can do inside the ring. And that's why I'm so excited for this match. There's no telling what we'll see from the phenomenal one. And the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Yeah, he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Well said, guys. And how about this Greensboro crowd? They've been on their feet all night. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Tell us about AJ Styles. So tell us, oh, wise one, what's he got to do to win here tonight? When you're riding as high as he's been in WrestleMania, it seems like you can do no wrong. But he better not get too cocky or he'll be in trouble in a heartbeat. Well, the time this is sickening to watch. The ref had no choice but to call the match. 